Oh yeah, haircut. <clears throat> so obviously I didn't drive when I was going on vacation. And Deshaina and I are visiting some people. And Deshaina's dad got us this. It's a geo tracker. It's a little bit old and has a few problems. But things I can fix, I hope. It runs very well. It was very cheap on Craigslist. Anyway, that's why I ended up taking the train out here. Because supposedly I was supposed to find this and make it totally operational. And it seems like everything is good except the floorboards are a bit of a mess. Oh look, here's the floor from the back. Oh wait, but what's going on? There's a floor in there. Ha ha! Two days ago, let me just move this seat up. Two days ago I replaced that with stainless steel. So that'll last more, that'll last longer than the entire car. So that's kind of sweet, because Deshaina's dad had some stainless steel around. And yeah, this is a huge mess. This entire section was so rusty. I ripped most of it out by hand and then cut some out. But yeah, under the stainless steel, I mean, that whole area was missing. And for instance, this remained attached to the seats when I moved the seats up which is not a good thing. <clears throat> but now it's totally good. I'll cut this to fit. Ooh, it even goes up the side and everything. And then screwed it in with self-drilling screws and cocked around so that, you know, little road wetness won't squirt inside. And I did keep the same ratty old carpet just to give a bit of insulation, but I should replace that at some point too. But, you know, I just wanted something there for now because it'll keep, uh, <clears throat> it'll insulate temperature a little bit and it'll also uh, insulate against the noise from outside a little. So I'm going to leave it there until I find a better piece of carpet that I can stick in there. Oh, and what am I doing now? Haha. <laughs> oh, I just got to this. See, this is the driver's side floor and as you can see uh, that's not it's got a Flintstone style hole here that's not the best so I'm gonna rip this out and replace it with some stainless steel too oh here's the crappy fix job someone did before that was actually just kind of falling right in <clears throat> yeah not so good so I'll make a piece of stainless steel kind of like that and actually screw it in because this is real solid and the frame is in good shape and everything. It's just the the floorboards and a, a bit of the body is rusted. But it seems mechanically sound. So I'm fixing her up. Step one, rip this out. Oh wait, maybe this is step three. Step one was like, move the carpet out of the way. Oh, and check it out. See how good the frame is? Totally strong. It's just this crap. Ah, get out of here. <sighs> hmm. Not bad. It's sort of funny how rusty that stuff I ripped out was, and then right below it is stuff that, I mean, this still has the paint on it. Not rusty at all. It's hard to see because it's black, but yeah, I mean, there's... Maybe it was just from people putting their salty feet inside the car and then making messes in there and it just rusted right through the floor. Could be the case. Either way, it's a good thing everything below it's in good shape. I just have to, you know, fill in this huge hole now. Where's my tape measure? Uh, not my tape measure, someone else's tape measure. It's always twice as hard to do anything when using other people's tools because you can never find anything. Oh, and the good thing about the previous person's fix is I can use it as kind of a template and say, okay, from the edge of the metal up here, I need like plus two extra inches that way. And from this way, ah, I have to measure that. And then from this way over here, I need an extra inch going that way. That'll fold up. Oh, I'm hitting the 
zoom button. Stop it. What's that now? This place looks familiar. Isn't this where the giant robot began its life? Yeah, that's right, where the big ball bearing was put together. Cool. All right, now I have to find, ooh, here's a big sheet of stainless steel, nice. All right, I have two options here. One is this piece, which is definitely big enough. Just ignore the glue on it. <clears throat> but it's pretty thin and flimsy. And then there's this piece, which is like twice as thick. It's nice and rigid, but not big enough. It's not big enough that way, and not big enough that way, because it has to actually come out to here. So I either have to splice that one together or use the thinner piece. Hmm. Oh wait, there is another option. There's another one of these big pieces that I used for the back. That's what that other piece is a leftover from. Nice ending a sentence with a preposition there. Oh, the neighbors are gonna love this. Sorry, nice suburban people. Well, that's about the right size. I have to bend this back part up. So I scored along there and set it against a piece of wood. Hopefully if I stomp on it, it'll bend. All right, that's a good start, but I think I'll continue helping it with some pliers. measured everything right, that should totally fit. <laughs> I hope. Oh, and check out what I found when I was digging around in the floor. Oh yeah. Alright, we're going in! Ah, yeah. I have to move some carpet out of the way there, but that looks like it's fitting pretty good. Oh! How do you do it? It's perfect! Oh, all those years of hanging drywall were horrible. But man, that is some seriously good practice for making things fit, like, exactly. Nice job. Jeez, it fits so well, I could probably get away with not even putting screws in it. But I will. <laughs> you know, actually that piece has to get screwed down, definitely. <laughs> Sweet. Mmm, self-drilling screws. I don't trust those to go through the stainless very easily though, so... I'm going to pre-drill the stainless steel. Well, that is pretty sweet. All screwed in. Nothing's going through that sucker. Arr, get in there! Sweet, better than new. Hmm, Geo. Get in there. Cool. I checked out the uh, passenger side floor, and that one's totally solid. Doesn't look like there's any rust on it at all, even from the bottom. And the last thing I have to do is make this chair adjustable. It got a little bit rusty, which makes me think there really was just something inside the car that rusted out the floors, not from the outside, but from the inside. Because the one of the tracks the seats it's on is really rusty. It doesn't move, but I'm thinking that barbarian style maneuvers can loosen it. Oh, ah, there we go. Yep. All 
fixed! Oh, look at that. It's so cold in here. Things are starting to fog up. So you're ready to go like a thousand miles, right? I guess it's a good thing we're going south. Hopefully we can get to warm before we break down. Oh, getting stuck on the side of the highway in freezing weather kind of sucks. Anyway, south, here we come. <laughs> on another note, I'm really hoping to, at some point in the not-too-distant future, have a electric solar-powered car that I can be driving around the country on road trips. Well, actually, I really want to build a solar-powered amphibious RV, but I'm working on it.